WEHT Local Lifestyles continues. I didn't know this, but January is National Get Organized Month, so we hope to inspire you today with the advice from our professional organizer, Jamie Pfeiffer. Happy New Year to you. Well, Happy New Year to you. Thank you. It's good to see you again. You too. And you it is that time. I mean, we were putting away Christmas decorations, yes. so we may as well get with it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And what better time when it's cold outside and you can't go out and do anything fun, so you're stuck inside. Go through your stuff. Go Gary. through your stuff. Yes, yes. Have you heard about this new trend? I Go ahead and tell everybody okay. what it is because I had seen okay. it. Okay, so the latest trend in organizing is called the Swedish death cleaning. Isn't that cherry? Yes. The Swedish death I cleaning. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not as morbid as it sounds. It's, so it's a very <laughs> practical um, thing that we should all uh, at least at some point in life consider. Consider. Yeah, yeah. but um, the idea is it's a... Uh, cleaning exercise where you go through the stuff you've accumulated and you decide um, you get rid of the extra and as you if basically, you, you didn't want your kids to have to deal with exactly it. Right. you're essentially preparing for death although that sounds morbid it's actually very practical because who's going to do it when you're gone you're, it'll be your family exactly and they'll exactly. be going why did mama keep exactly. this you know, green vase yeah. nobody wants that. yeah, yeah. so you're, it's considered a favor to your to the survivors but if you have trouble with where to get started that was um, my next question yeah that's the thing I think people are so overwhelmed by the magnitude of the closet and the junk drawer and mm -hmm. the storage room and the trunk of the car yeah all those things you know where do you begin Jamie uh, well you can start with just pick a small area a closet or something pull out everything that's in there if you haven't worn it in a long time or you haven't used it you forgot you had it then Ask yourself, what's the purpose of me keeping this? It's just taking up space. Go through those things, especially now that you can't get outside and enjoy the outdoor weather. You know, we're stuck inside, so why not use that time and um, make room for for new things if you need them or just, you to know. To make room. Yeah, yeah. Which would be nice. Yeah. Honey, are you listening? Somebody get a close-up of me. George Raleigh, are you listening to this? Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. know, I have my own issues, honey. I know I do. <laughs> so then what if this is like start small, then what do we do, Jamie? So if, as you're going through things, if you um, ask yourself the questions like, am I going to, you know, do I really need this? Donate it, get rid of it, throw it away. Have uh, a yard sale. A friend. Yeah, have a yard sale in the spring. But um, if you need more help, then if you're not sure, then give us a call and we'll be glad to help. We we work hands on with people to help them make those tough decisions and ask those questions. I, I'm just curious because I, I'm sure that this is true. When you have helped someone declutter yes. that's really had a hard time starting, yes. what do they say to you when they finally get it all organized? Oh, it's been the best experience that they've had. It's been stress free, or you know, for the most part. I mean, it is tough to go through those things when you've had 50 years of collecting and and you just don't want to part with those things because they've, you know, you've had them for so long and they have memories. And um, but it, it has helped with the anxiety levels, um, stress levels to have somebody with you going through it. Because if you do the job, try to do the job on your own, it can be very overwhelming. Yeah, sometimes you'll just very, stop. Yes. Now you have a webinar that's available, so yes. let's tell everybody about if that. If you need more tips, tools to use to help you start getting organized. We have a webinar um, called Organizing 101, 10 Steps to Lasting Order, and you can find that on our website, www.lastingorder.net slash classes. Thank you, Jamie. I feel better already. Oh, good, <laughs> we'll good, see you, good. We'll see you next month. All right. And we wonderful. will be right back with Heidi Garza and company. Don't go away. <laughs>